What's going on? Happy Wednesday. So... Combating the illusion of a finite world. Reminding myself that we're connected. I mean, I... That is my task on a daily basis. Because I get consumed with my own fears and my own circumstances and what I need and desire and, and all that stuff. But when I'm reminded, and it takes work to remind myself and I have people in my life that help me, um, of what's important, love, service, connection, that's the truth of, in my opinion, who and what we are. But how do we, and this is a question for me and this is a question for you, this is, I, I think about this all the time, like how does that translate into the daily life, into our daily lives? How does that translate into supporting ourselves and sustaining ourselves? I mean, that's my challenge. Um, and it's a balance, I think. And it's an individual, and, and, that, and, and that's an individual choice, struggle, whatever. Because if you want to make the most important thing in your life amassing the most amount of money you can, how happy and fulfilled you'll be is up to you. If you want to make love and service your life, That's a choice too. That is our human choice. That's the freedom of free will. Um, I think as a society, we probably need to open our hearts more um, and have more empathy for those around us because I think the power struggle of there's not enough of anything to sustain is not true. It just feeds the illusion of a finite world. It feeds the illusion that we are separate and I've got to keep mine over here and only give it to who I want and, you know, or you're not as good as me. If we open our eyes and open our hearts and realize that we are all to, in this thing together, that we need to save ourselves together, rise together, Consciousness will change and we will change. We're like upside down. And I think it's changing. I think that's kind of what we see as the unrest about everything. Whether it's weather, whether it's, you know, the 1%, whether it's our political leaders, we need to keep opening our eyes and it's going to change. And, you know, it's going to be uncomfortable gonna to come to a head. I don't know. Much love.